Okay guys, this video is going to be a little bit different. I'm going to tell you a little bit about YouTube filming and uh, all of that jazz. So the first thing is that um, when you're doing, when you're filming videos like this, if you can keep your flips in one central area like this, that would be the best case scenario. But it's usually pretty hard to do that just because, you know, you want to like have some room to throw your tricks or if you threw an aerial and you didn't catch it exactly in frame, um, then it wouldn't look good. So my camera setting, and this is all for, for me, I record, I don't record with like a HD cam or anything like that. I just use my phone, but um, my phone's pretty HD. I have the iPhone 13 Pro and I just recently got it, but even down to like the 11s and the 10s, they have good enough cameras to record pretty good video. So um, right here in the bottom of the camera, you'll see there's like a setting for like one X. If you click 0.5, um, basically you'll get a throttle in quality but it'll have the fish eye type effect. So see how I'm flipping here, whatever. If I come here to the side and look, I'm flipping over here, I'll click that 0.5. Now look, I'm fully in frame. So you have a little slight throttle in quality, but now all your things are in frame and you don't have to worry about being out of frame ever. You know what I'm saying? So that's kind of like a cool little trick or a cool little thing for um, people who are kind of, well, scary. People who are um, new to the filming and all that. So definitely something that's cooler. And then I had another thing that I wanted to discuss. Um, so when YouTube uploads your videos, a lot of you might have noticed that you get like a throttle in quality and that's because of the type of compressor that they use. So for, um, for if, if you're a new creator and you don't have a lot of followers, um, you get a different codex, you get ABC and you can check your videos and see what compressor they use. But most people get ABC. And if you're an older, or like a higher value creator, as they say, then you get VP09. So that's the codex you get. And so you can actually check your videos and see. Now there's a couple of ways to get around this. Um, if you edit your videos, you can actually change the resolution on your videos to be like higher than it actually is just to fool YouTube into thinking. Because for creators that upload higher quality videos, then YouTube will just use VP09 instead of, instead of ABC, just because they're like, well, this video is already higher quality, so it needs to be higher quality in general. So that's one thing you can do. And then another thing you can do, if you're like me and you have an iPhone, um, you can actually, well, I don't know if this works, but I'm gonna try it on this video. I'm gonna click the 4K setting because technically that would be higher quality. Oh shit. And if the 4K setting works, um, then you guys will be able to see it in this video. And so just go to your quality and click select higher quality and see if it ends up actually uploading as a higher quality, you know what I'm saying? But um, yeah, when you're a newer creator, they're gonna always use ABC, but if you give them a reason to use VP09, then they'll use VP09. So that's kind of one of those things where, just a little thing that people might not know, but yeah, and then people ask how I film, you just gotta use that zoom out, that little 0.5 camera, cause that's the best way. So like if I wanted to go to the normal camera, it would look like this and it'd be kind of hard to see, you know what I'm saying? But um, if I go to the, times three look at that wow you can see my calluses <laughs> um but yeah so 0. 0.5 is better i don't know Ow. i don't know if that's gonna work but um that's just a quick little video that i wanted to record guys so anyways rock on